This video tutorial is going to show you how to upload your pages to the web server so that others can see your uh, website um, on the World Wide Web. If you have completed tutorial 1.3 in this course, you will have already set up your FTP uh, server settings um, in the site setup uh, menu uh, and tested that connection to make sure that you're uh, actually able to upload documents to the server. If you've done that, we're ready to go. All we need to do is to click on the files panel and on the top left hand side of the files panel there is a set of a little icon that looks like a set of plugs. You simply click on that and it should reach out to the server and provided it is connected okay you'll see a little uh, message that says file activity complete plus there's a little tiny check mark in that plugs icon area. Now to upload all of the files to the server you need to make sure that this top folder is selected for the entire site. If you just choose one of the files in your file panel just that file will be uploaded. So we want to upload the whole site um, in order to make sure that you get all of your rules and your site looks exactly the way it should, the way you've designed it. So select the top level file folder and then click on the up arrow to upload the site. You should get this message that says are you sure you wish to put the entire site. If you don't get this message then you want to double check and make sure that you've got the top folder selected. Otherwise you might just upload one file and your site may not look the way that you thought it was going to look. Okay so once we get this message and we want to put the whole site up we click OK and that's it. Uh, provided you're connected to the internet it should go pretty quick. File activity complete it says that it's uploaded so the last check here is to actually go out to the World Wide Web so I'm going to click on my browser and I'm going to type in the URL for our class uh, folder which is iam.colum.edu slash web design which is our class folder slash and then your last name not mine but I'm going to type in my last name because that's where I uploaded my uh, page to. So before I hit return notice that I don't have to type in the full path to index.html because the web browser will or already or automatically look for that page uh, when it gets to any directory uh, on any server on the web. So I just hit return and it loads the index.html page uh, there it is. That's proof that it exists, that it works. Uh, I can show my friends and everybody how I've created my first web page here um, using Dreamweaver. So, um, well done, and in the next section of the course, we're going to start adding uh, some graphics and enhancing the text and lots of other features uh, to make our website more exciting.